Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for you all. In this video, we're going to continue our look at painting the Chieftain from the Silver Tower Warhammer Quest box set. And so as you can see here, most of the models have already been painted in the sword, the flesh, the face. And so this video, we're going to work on the bronze. That's going to be his shoulder pad, his little belt buckle, uh, the cross guard on his sword, and the two little uh, armor plates that are on his uh, wrists. For that, we're going to get started with some warp lock bronze. As you'd imagine, we're going to do bronze, and we're going to use a bronze color. And I've used a little bit of Lemayne Medium to help thin it out just a little bit. You can use water as well, but I find that when you're thinning down metallics, uh, it's best to use the medium rather than water, as uh, water tends to separate the um, metal flakes from the medium, and you end up getting this kind of jumbled kind of mess when you uh, mix with uh, water. And so here I'm just very carefully picking out the details, getting the shoulder pad, getting the, uh, the van braces on his arms, the cross guard on his sword, and a little belt buckle on his uh, belly. Next we're going to use some Psychorax bronze. And we're going to slap a little bit on palette, and we're going to use a dry brush. And very quickly here, I'm just going to dry brush in some highlights, being very careful not to hit any other areas of the model. The dry brush I'm using is an older brush. It is an older uh, dry brushing brush from the Citadel used to produce. Uh, they don't produce this brush no more. Uh, but it still does the job as it's uh, been beaten up to death, which is a sign of a good dry brush. And of course, when you're dry brushing, you always make sure you keep a very light hand as you work your way across the model. Make sure that lots of paint has been removed from the bristles and make sure that you are brushing against the grain. If you feel the model vibrating in your hand, that means you are applying too much pressure. Nurgling Green is next with a heavy helping of Lemayan Medium. We're going to turn this into a glaze. Uh, one thing I didn't show here is that I used a little bit of Liquitex Flowaid to help the uh, thinned out glaze here to flow and reside within the recesses. Uh, anybody who's watched me use different colors and create shades from colors uh, knows uh, exactly what kind of product I'm talking about here, but it's just Liquitex Flowaid. Just one little drop does ya. And here you can see, simply just applying it to the model. Again, it looks like I'm applying quite a bit, and I am applying quite a bit, but it's going to be a fairly rusty, oxidized kind of bronze here. And once it dries, it really does reduce down. It's not going to be quite as intense as you see it here. Here I'm just simply drying out some of that excess in that uh, bell buckle. There was just a little too much in that area. And of course, when you're drying out excess, you know, you just simply uh, clean the brush off and use a clean brush and dr uh, draw out the excess. Nihilic Oxide is next, and this is very sparingly, and just kind of going around and applying this wherever I want the deepest amount of oxidization to occur. As bronze uh, um, oxidizes, it gets more of that oxidization in the crevices, and so it actually gets in this brighter greens, this verdigray, and it, wherever it's deepest and the most has accumulated it gets this brighter green stage and so again the nurgling green was to begin the oxidization and this is where where it's really heaviest and where there's the heavy buildup of it some areas would go a little bit heavy uh, on this one uh, van brace uh, there's quite a bit on that brace but man, you know, maybe it's uh Maybe it's really just heavily oxidized. Maybe he's just out in the weather all the time and, you know, his armor is getting really rusty. When that's fully dry, we're going to come in with some Psychorax bronze. And we're going to dry brush this again. We're going to basically hide back some of those layers and build up some of those bright edges. As I kind of like doing this with the bronze as it brings up these edges. It recedes the oxidization into the recesses where it belongs. And again, it gives you a much more natural kind of bronze finish. Again, when we're dry brushing, maintaining a very light hand as we work our way across the model. You see the van brace on his wrist there. It's quite a bit of vertigray on it, but that's okay. It gives it that really heavy oxidization kind of look. It gives it kind of an ancient kind of feeling, as one would expect from uh, an old warrior such as this. Rune Fang Steel is next, and this is simply going to be a little edge highlight onto the uh, points of the armor. And pretty much everywhere we want the blade just simply just to edge a little highlight. Again, you see the little nick. We'll just pick that out with some silver. Again, this is just to add some brightness to those points. Uh, we're not applying it to the full edge of the armor pad. Just basically just little corners, little nicks, sketch the little bolts, the little blade edges. Again, the, you know, the, the shoulder, or, uh, the van brace on his left hand is just simply catching the end of the spikes there. 
again, anywhere that we've, you'd imagine that the bronze gets really kind of worn down and gets kind of really bright and catches lots of sunlight and, you know, whatever you can imagine, really. And so you see there, simply just catching the teeth, catching really the kind of the face details on these areas, on the belt buckle and on the uh, van brace on his uh, right arm there. And that is essentially it. That's painting the bronze on the chieftain. It's pretty easy. Don't be afraid to give it a try. We've got even more painting tutorials in the Silver Mini Wargaming Vault. You can watch another one today about how I painted the face of this guy. Just click on the link in the video description below and watch it right now. If you don't have a Mini Wargaming Vault membership, you can click on the link and sign up for a free 7-day trial. Make sure that you sign up for the Silver membership so that you can access the, all the painting tutorials. And you'll get instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in the vault. And so thank you for watching. Happy Wargaming.